Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, TIN205 Industrial Statistics with me, Ferry Afrinaldi. We will continue our discussion on the uh, descriptive statistics and on the previous video, I explained how to develop a dot plot and on this video, I will explain on how to develop the second uh, tools in order to describe data. And that tool is what we call as the stem and leaf diagrams. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the, the, the concept of developing the stem and leaf diagrams so that the stem and leaf diagram it is a good way to to obtain an informative visual display of data so the kind of information that we can get from the stem and leaf it is basically this uh, the same as the kind of information that we can get from the uh, dot plot we can we can have a, a description on on the distribution of of the data we can we can see uh, whether the the set of data is center or or not center and one thing that you need to remember when you are making the the the, the stem and leaf diagrams you can only make the stem and leaf diagrams when your data at least consists of two digits. That is the, the requirement of the stem and leaf diagrams. At least your data set must have two digits. So when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as your data, that means your data only has one digit you cannot make the stem and leaf you may use the the dot plot in order to 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 repre to, to to describe the data okay and this is the the way to construct the stem and leaf diagrams so since we we need to have at least two digits so we need to select one or more leading digits for the stem and the following digits uh, become the the leaf okay so so the stem and leaf it is uh, something like this uh, let me okay let me see okay let me make it bigger so we're gonna have stem and then so it's something like this and here we have the, the leaf okay so in the column of stem so we're gonna put the the leading digits and in the column of leaf we're gonna put the the following digits okay so so this is how this is the the template or 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 the 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 way that we're gonna use in order to develop the the stem and leaf okay i'm coming back to the uh, presentation and after that after deciding what gonna be the leading digits and what gonna be the the trailing or the following digits we need to list all possible stem value in a vertical column so this is the this is the we're gonna list all possible uh, value for the stem here and also we need to record the leaf for every observation beside the corresponding stem value so here we're gonna have the stem and for that stem we're gonna have leaf we're gonna have uh, one leaf no leaf or several leaves okay and then the last thing that we need to do we need to indicate the units for the stems and leaf 
some place in the display so maybe our data is about the strength of the material so so maybe we're gonna put here material strength and the unit is in uh, maybe pascal something like that okay so we need to indicate the the unit of the measurement or or the unit of the observation maybe this mass and we put kilogram as the unit so people know what is that people know what is it okay so the the stem and lift okay i'm gonna give you an example on on how to develop a stem and lift diagrams okay so we have data here and it is the the strength of a material and the unit is in psi psi means pressure per square inch of 80 aluminum lithium alloy so we have 80 data here so the number of observations that we have here is uh, 80 okay so in order to make the the job easier i'm gonna use excel in order to develop this time and lift okay so we have 80 observations okay this is it the the 80 observation i already copy them to this spreadsheet so i'm just gonna copy them again to our to a new uh, spreadsheet so i'm gonna use this one book number two i'm gonna paste them okay so this is the the 80 data or the 80 observations that we have yeah see count 80 so we are good we have 80 observations now the first thing that you need to do is you need to to sort the data sort the data from smallest to largest okay that's the first thing that you need to do okay and i don't think that i put that in in the presentation so you need to sort the data from smallest to largest okay so using excel it is very easy you just need to select all the data and then you go to the a to z sort and filter and you need to sort uh, the data from smallest to largest and don't choose this one this one you you're gonna sort the data from largest to smallest so you choose a to z sort smallest to largest you click it and see now we sort the date we ha we have the data sorted right now from smallest to largest okay now see how many digits that the data we have so so the first three data have two digits and the rest of the data has uh three digits so what we're gonna do is that so what we're gonna do we're gonna use stem we're gonna put stem as the the stem gonna be the 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 first digit or the first two digits okay that's gonna be our stem and the leaf gonna be the last okay the last or the third digit okay so that's 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 what we're gonna do so I'm gonna give you an example here so we have seven uh, I'm gonna do this so here let me see what I what I can do so you can see both of my windows okay so seven eight nine that's gonna be our stem so we're gonna put seven that's gonna be our first time and the leaf gonna be the six okay 
and this data means 76 okay that's your first observation and then you're gonna have a and for the a your your leaf gonna be seven and this means 87 and then you're gonna have nine for the stem and your leaf gonna be seven and that means this 97 and you're gonna have the next one gonna be 10 as your leaf and one gonna uh, as your stem and one gonna be your leaf and that 101 is the is is the observation so see here you have 101 105 so 10 1010 as as your stem so you're gonna have two leaf the first leaf is one we recorded here and the second leaf gonna be the number five okay so with this one this means we have two observation 101 and 105 okay and with the 11 as your stem you're gonna have 0 5 8 okay you're gonna have 0 and then 5 and then 8 so that's mean we have three observation here we have 110 115 and 118 so this is it 110 118 and 118 and you continue down until the uh, last observation or until the last leaf that we have in the observation okay so that's the the concept on how to develop the stem and leaf now now uh, now let's use uh, Excel to help us in order to develop the stem and leaf. So the first thing that you need to do, we need to separate the stem and the, and the leaf, okay? So you select the column A, okay? And then you go to data, and from the data, you go to text to columns. This is the, the, the tool in Excel that we use to, to separate the, the stem and, and the leaf. You click it, text to column. And then you click next. Oh, sorry, back. You need to choose fix with first. And you click next. And then, uh, sorry, you need to, because we want the, I need to, it's because we want the, the last digit to be our leaf, so you need to click here uh, in the, in the last digits of the 100 and time, uh, 101, 105, and so on and so forth. So here we have the last digit of 76, is 6 87 is 7 we're gonna let it be like that for now and we're gonna work with them uh, later on so you need to click next and then finish okay see excel separate your stem and your leaf but not for for the first uh three observation so we're gonna put uh, uh six over here seven over here and seven over here here we have uh, seven as our stem a and nine okay so so i think now we are in in a good condition in in order to develop the stem and leaf so the next thing that we need to do we need to indicate which one is the stem and which one is the leaf so you need to insert column so we're gonna put this as stem and this one as the leaf okay so we need to group them because here we have 11 11 and 11 as, as our stem but in in the column of the stem we just need one 11 here we need uh one two three eleven so that that, that is not 
how we work with the stem and leaf so we need to and also for the leaf we need to put five over here and we need to put eight over here okay in order to do that the thing that we need to do is we need to filter the the data so you go to data and you go to filter okay and then you filter the stem okay you go to seven okay that's the 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 only leaf that we have so we are okay because there is only one of them and then you go to eight okay that's the only leaf that we have and then we go to nine seven is the only leaf that we have and then you go to ten see you have uh, Two leaf right one and five okay so the thing that you need to do you just need to delete this and put this one here okay and then you go to 11 okay so you have three stem and leaf I think the easiest way to do is not to to directly uh, copy uh, five and eight to to this uh, cells or row but the thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete 11 and 11 okay okay and then I'm gonna put 12 I'm gonna delete 12 here that's what I'm gonna do next and then 13 I'm gonna delete 13 but I'm gonna leave the the the, the first that uh, 13 there and I'm gonna do the same thing with 14 okay and then 15 and 16 17 we just delete one by one and then 18 19 okay 20 21 okay that's the only one we are good 22 uh, you need to delete two of them uh, 23 okay we only have one leaf and 24 okay so this is how the data now okay cool okay that's that's the the data that we have now the next thing that we need to do so here 10 11 that's because uh, the thing that I did for for 10 as the stem so I'm gonna just delete this row okay so I'm gonna select the the leaf for the 11 this is the leaf for the 11 I'm just gonna copy it and then the thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a paste let's see what paste that we need to do a transpose okay so you need to select one and three that's gonna be the leaf for 11 and then you need to do paste transpose this is the same copy and then you do a paste transpose after that we do the same here we do pass transpose with for 15 we do uh, pass transpose where is, where is it okay with 16 we do pass transpose 17 we need to, do to copy and pass transpose 18 then you do uh, pass transpose 19 uh, pass transpose 20 uh, pass transpose and then 21 uh, pass transpose that's what we need to do 
and the next thing that we need to do we need to delete uh, this guy 2 3 till 9 we need to delete this guy 3 3 4 5 and 5 for every stamp okay so we need to make sure that your filter is on so you need to oh no uh, you need to select the stamp and here you you filter it and then you go to uh, don't select all so make everything empty there is no checklist and then you click blank put put checklist on uh, in the blank okay now you delete all of them all blank stamp okay delete row okay and this is it this is your stamp and leave this, this is your I'm gonna put the 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 border here this is the stamp and this is your uh, your your leaf and the next thing that we need to do is to count is to count so this is the what we call is as the frequency so frequency we need to count how many of them so 76 there is only one 87 there is only one 97 there is only one but here we have 110 and 105 so we have a uh, two observation so in excel we can use count uh, formula and we just select the the leaf okay and enter so that's when you have one observation and the next thing that you need to do is just copy and paste okay oh sorry okay this is it okay so that's the the frequency okay oh not the last one i forget the last one oh sorry uh, this guy keep showing up okay this is the frequency i just need to check the formula that i have now here we can calculate the total so that's mean how many observation that we have so we just need to sum the frequency so we are good there are 80 of them that's the frequency and the simple the, and the symbol for the frequency is the small f and then we need to calculate the cumulative frequency okay and the symbol for that is the capital f okay so here the cumulative is one and for this guy it is one and one so that's two and for this one so the cumulative should be three one plus one that is three and for this one it should be three plus two five as the cumulative frequency but we will not do that we're gonna we're gonna use excel okay i'm gonna delete this and one and that should be this plus the first of a cumulative frequency and just copy it down and paste c for the last observation the cumulative frequency should be 80 that should be equal your 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 total this is the stem and leaf and from this stem and leaf you know how the 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 distribution of the data so i'm just gonna copy it to to this pane I'm gonna just make use a new one okay so this is your your stem and leaf okay and see the 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 distribution of the data we can say that the distribution of the data is something like like this okay so what we can conclude from from the distribution of the data so more or less the data is the the data is center okay center or what we call as the symmetrical okay so so most of the data majority of the data is is in in the center or in the here in, in 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 it it is most of them is 150 151 until um, 190 193 190 something okay so 
here from from the stem and leaf it is very easy to see the the distribution of of the data okay and this is how to develop the stem and leaf and there is one more thing that I will explain here so I'm gonna coming back to the slide okay so we're gonna we're gonna calculate the best on the stem and leaf we're gonna calculate the median mode uh, and the uh, quartile of of the observation and the median is the middle value when the observation are when the observations are ordered from smallest to largest and from the stem and leaf we already have that so we we order the observation from smallest to largest we already did that and the mode is the most frequent data appear and the quartile we're gonna have three quartile we're gonna have q1 or the quartile one q2 is the quartile two and q3 is the third quartile so the quartile uh, divide the date the observation into four part so when you have quartile one that means 25 percent of the observation are below quartile one value so for example you have the value of quartile one is uh, uh, 45 so that's mean uh, about 25 percent of the of all observation their value are below uh, 45 and the second quartile that means 50 percent of the observations uh, below uh, uh, the second quartile value so if you have the value of q2 equals 60 so that means about 50 percent of all of your data their value are below uh, 60 and the the third quartile that means 75 percent of the observations below its value so if, if your the value of your uh, third quartile is 80 for example so that means ar uh, around 75 percent of all of your observations uh, their value are below uh, 80 and the range it is the difference between the largest and the smallest of observations and we're gonna calculate all of them uh, by using a best on the uh, uh, stem and leaf diagram okay let's see so Here are the formula in order to calculate the median, mode, quartile, and range. And remember, the second quartile is the same as the median. So because the median just divide the data into two equal parts, and, and that is the, the Q2 also. So this is not the, the value of Q1, Q2, and Q3, the formula that we have here, and the uh, this formula indicate the location of the Q1, Q2, and Q3. So the location of Q1, it is the n plus 1 over 4 data. And the Q2 is, is the data, and the location of the data is uh, at the n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay? And I'm going to explain this by, by using... Uh, uh, example based on on our stem and leaf and now let's do this and and calculate the median uh, uh, quartile one quartile two and quartile three of the data that we have in our stem and leaf okay okay now we start from quartile one quartile one okay So we need to identify the location of quartile one, location, okay. So what is the formula for the location of quartile one? N plus one divided by four. So what is N? 
our n is 80 the total number of the observation right this one so i'm gonna uh, lock this guy so i don't think i'm gonna use the formula so i'm just gonna use 80 okay so i'm gonna just use and i'm gonna use the formula okay 80 plus 1 divided by 4 so that's the, loca the location of your first quartile it is in the 20.25 of the data see from your stem and leaf okay okay so see the, the, cumul the uh, cumulative frequency okay see that okay see this is the this is the location of the the data number 17 and this is the location of the data number 25 so till here until 5 over here we have 17 of the observation this is the 18 of the observation this is the 19 of the observation this is the the 20th of the observation and this is the the 21st of the observation so the q1 is the uh, is the 20.25 of the observation so the q1 must be between the data so it is between data number 20 and 21 so this is data number uh, 20 because it is 17 18 uh, 19 and 20 this is 21 so it is between data number 20 and 21 or it is between uh, 143 okay it is between 143 and uh, this is 143 and 145 okay so now that's the location of your quartile one or calculate the quartile one okay okay now data number 20 is 143 so 143 that's the data number 20 so your quarter one is the data number uh 20.25 so we need the we need the value of the uh 0 0.25 after the the data number 20 so this is the data number 20 so we have uh, 0 0.25 left times the the difference between the two data the difference between 145 and 143 so 145 minus 143 so here this is the, the logic of the equation 143 is the data number 20 and we have 0 0.25 left so this is it 0 0.25 and that should be 0 0.25 of the difference between the data number 20 and number uh, number uh, number uh, tw 21st and the data number uh, 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 20 and that means 0 0.25 times uh, 145 minus 143 okay it should be comma over here uh, okay that's your uh, quartile one your first quartile so that's mean so what does this mean? This mean so about twenty five percent of the observation has the value lower than one forty three point five. Okay. Okay. So that's what it mean. That's your quartile one. Now let's calculate quartile number two. I'm just gonna copy this down and, and edit quartile two. 
we need to to get the location see the formula the location of quartal 2 is 2 times n plus 1 divided by 4 so I just need, need to put number 2 up, up front times okay so that's the location mm, okay so the location of your quartal 2 is it is at the 40.5 data see this is here is the data number 37 and this one is the data number 47 it should be here in this row okay so 37 over here should be 38 39 and 40 so this is the location of quartal 2 I repeat this is 37 38 39 40 and 41 so 40.5 must be between data number 40 and data number uh, 41 okay so um, so this is the location it should be in the 40.5 data so that's mean between data number uh, number 40 and 41 or between uh, 160 and 163 okay so your quartile one is data number 40 which is 160 the rest is is the 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 times 163 minus 160 this is your uh, this is quartile 2 okay this is your quartile 2 so so it is also your median okay because quartile 2 is the same as the median okay and this means that about 50% uh, of the observation is lower than uh, 161.5 so about 50% of the value of your observation that you have over here their value is lower than 161.5 okay now let's calculate quartile number three okay quartile number three so I'm then just gonna delete everything over here what is the formula for quartal number 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4 so I need this formula so should be I change 2 with 3 okay so it is so there is a typo over here so the, the location of quarter three is is the data number sixty point seventy five. So it is, this means between data number sixty and sixty one. Okay, let's see. We have fifty seven over here. This is the this is this is the data number fifty seven. So the third quartile must be here. In this row so 57 58 59 60 and 61 okay so between data number 60 and 61 or so that mean between okay between sorry between 181 and 181 so what is the value of quartile number three should be 181 that's the data number 60 and we have 0 comma 75 left times uh, 181 minus 181 minus uh, 181 uh, okay so your your third quartile is the is 181 
so this means that uh, about 75% of the observation is lower than uh, 181 okay that's how we calculate uh, the quartile of the data quartile 1 quartile 2 and quartile 3 and remember quartile 2 is the same as the median okay now let what we have left uh, we need to calculate the IQR that is the interquartiles range and that is the difference between Q3 and Q1 so IQR so that's Q3 minus Q1 okay and we have 37.5 and the range it is the the largest 245 245 minus the smallest of the data 76 okay and that's the range of the data 169 okay okay and I think we have one more thing mode uh, mode means the data that appear most frequent that's the mode uh, by using stem and leaf it is not a good idea to to calculate the mode but we can use the 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 original uh, representation of the data what is the what is it? this is the yeah this is the original representation of the data right so before we we develop this stem and, and leaf for the data and with excel you can calculate mode just by by putting mode here mode okay and then you select the the observation it doesn't matter you sort it or you oh, it doesn't matter it is the sorted data or unsorted data still you can calculate the the mode enter that is the mode 158 okay so i'm gonna put it here mode is 158 okay so if i put it in the context this is the data is about what this is the data is about the the strain of the aluminum so when here we have the the median is 161.5 so that means about 50 percent of the aluminum that we have the strength of them is lower than 161.5 what is the unit uh, psi okay so i think i need to put it here as the note uh, data is uh, aluminum aluminum string and it is in psi okay and we have quarter 3 181 that means about 75 percent of the aluminum that we have its value is uh, its strength is lower than 181 of psi and I think that is it for stem and leaf and thank you very much.